The thriving black business district in this Chicago area town called Joliet was replaced by a jail in the 80s. Given that the 80s was also the onset of the war on drugs, it would appear that the local government preferred to invest in our incarceration and re-enslavement than our community. How did we get here though? Check it out. I was browsing through the Brown Book one day, which is a catalog of black owned businesses in Joliet from the 50s and 60s and decided to visit those sites to shoot some content. To my dismay, I found mostly vacant lots, parking spaces, and a detention center. As the OGs tell it, Joliet's black business district on Chicago Street once thrived, supported by manufacturing jobs that black folks had as they migrated to this area during the Great Migration. After MLK's assassination in 1968, some businesses were lost due to civil unrest at the time. But the real blow was the deindustrialization of America and the Rust Belt of the 70s. By 1983, Joliet's unemployment rate hit 26%, which means it was likely double for African Americans, leaving black owned businesses with fewer customers. The war on drugs further devastated our community, leading to mass incarceration. This jail, which opened in 1989 to lock us up, received $70 million to expand in 2009. What if that money was used to rebuild our communities as opposed to imprison us? Now, only places like Williams Barbershop, which was opened in the 50s, remain. Most are merely memories. The focus remains on imprisoning us rather than providing restorative investments and in restitution for our community. That has to change, y'all.